I'm Jackie Jarvis from Margaret River and my husband and I are commercial grape growers and wine producers and I'm also involved in workforce development for the agricultural sector. A few years ago I became aware that there are obviously lots of backpackers working in Western Australia in agriculture which is fantastic for seasonal work but it became really obvious to me that there were lots of permanent jobs being done by backpackers which obviously affects farm productivity, people are having to get trained every three months, farmers have to recruit three or four times a year for the one job. So knowing that there were permanent jobs available in agriculture that weren't getting filled, I decided to look around and see what other groups of people were available who might be interested in working in agriculture. And I became aware that there was um, quite a, a reasonable number of resettled refugees living in Perth. I was really fortunate in 2013 to get some funding from the WA Office of Multicultural Interests who funded a six-month pilot program where we looked at putting resettled refugees into jobs in agriculture. So the program ran in 2013, but this year, in 2014, I had the opportunity to travel back to Carnarvon to catch up with a couple of the guys who were still working full-time in the agricultural sector. Yeah, I'm very, I'm very lucky, yeah, very lucky. I have a job, I, can, I have money, I have a car, I, everything. Yeah, I was trying to find a job when I was in, when I come to Perth, so I, I tried to find a job, but it was very hard. Yeah. So that's why then I meet you, so that's why, yeah, yeah. I came to Canada. Because I don't know another job, another job, yeah, I didn't work before, so this, this is my first job. Yeah. So now I like this job, so I want to keep it, so in future if I... If I had some money so I can buy a plantation and I grow my own bananas and zucchini and oranges, mangoes. Yeah. Yeah. Because now I have a lot of friends in Kanawan. Yeah. So you like Yeah, now a lot of friends and but they are backpacker every time. They are just when I make friends they are leaving, leaving. Yeah. A lot of you. Friday came in at the beginning of this year. In uh, January this year, yeah, Friday came on and uh, he's been a fantastic asset. Before that, uh, we've, uh, the only people who had working for me have, have been backpackers. But it's created a problem because uh, with the backpackers, in most cases, they're only allowed to work for six months on one job. And then basically in six months, I have one trained up and uh, he has to go. So we got the situation where uh, we decided, myself and the committee, that we needed to look for someone a bit more permanent who would uh, hang around a bit longer and we could encourage to remain in the industry or in a, an associated type of work to do with agriculture. For health reasons, I've had to go to Perth for some uh, uh, treatment and uh, friday has been running the show and he's been doing a fantastic job. We do communicate once a week or a little bit more often as necessary. And uh, yeah, he's doing a fantastic job. He's, uh, I've learned to, I can leave him for everything. If it's something mechanical, I have no problem. I'll just leave it to him. He's, he's very good on mechanical material. And um, look, he's a real gentleman. He treats everyone nicely. And he's doing a fantastic job. He really is. We need more people like him. I'm doing the fruit flies painting. Uh, it's about 180 farms. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's good. I enjoy that. I was working in the kitchen hand for about six, seven months. Uh, you find this job for me and yeah, I came here and I like it, yeah. Yeah, there is a guy, he's my friend, Idris. Uh, he's coming on Wednesday and he will do the work with me. It's a good place to be. Yeah, it's a good place, nice people around, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Not long after the project started, I got a call from a manager of a dairy farm in Scott River. Scott River's in the south of the state. There's actually no township there, so um, the closest town would be Nanup or Augusta, which is about 60 or 70 kilometres away. Which means it's quite hard to find staff that will commute every day, particularly on a dairy farm where you're needing staff to start at 4.30 in the morning. So one of the challenges we had was to find someone willing to relocate to Scott River and we found a really lovely young man from Africa. He's originally from Burundi and Eric was really keen to give it a try. I left Eric there as a permanent full-time employee and then when I, when I got in contact with him again I was really 
pleased to discover that as some of the backpacker labour had left, the farm had actually recruited some more resettled refugees, purely on the basis that Eric had worked out so well. My name is David Bala and I've been in Australia since 2005. I grew up in Uganda. Well, in a refuge camp, that's where I lived and, and we're, we got given a, a farm to grow crops. So, so, you know, we grow a lot of different crops and yeah. Well, I worked in bakery, I worked in markets as well, and a roof carpenter. Yeah, I have a certificate too as an electrician as well. But it wasn't really easy to get a job. Yeah, it's pretty hard to get a job there. Impressive. Yeah, it's really hard. Yeah, I've been out of job for nearly two years. Yeah, we're looking and looking. It wasn't easy to get a job. Yeah, that's why I ended up here. And I learned a lot of stuff here. Yeah, yeah it's pretty good there eh, because I can relate to it. Because yeah. the similar thing I used to ba do, do back home in Africa. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, you know, my hands are just good for the environment as well. Yes. Because I'm not really the, the city type of person. So you like living in the country? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, my name is Tutu Moranga. I've been here for going to 11 years, uh, end of this year. Uh, yeah, I live, in a, I live in a village with my grandma and we, uh, we actually own the farm and we divided in half. I had my own and she had her own farm. So I had to wake up every morning at 6 a.m., go to the farm, grow my crops, yeah, take care of it. Actually, I had cabbage, I had maize, um, sunflowers, cows, goat, chicken, sheep. Yeah, yes. Yeah, it reminds me back. I mean, it reminds me a lot back of home, in the farm, see the nature, animals. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. Actually. I was really pleased with how the pilot program turned out. I think the benefits to Western Australian agriculture are enormous. We need to understand that there are people in urban areas who may be willing to work on our farms, and we really need to look towards them. All the predictors are that, that agriculture is going to be the next boom industry for Western Australia. So farmers really need to be thinking outside the box when they think about who they're going to recruit and where they're going to get their workers from. And resettled refugees are just one pool of workers that, that I really think have a future in Western Australian agriculture.